Hey YouTube, it's Deltrain here. Welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Refresh Destruction. So last episode I said we're going to get a certain card this episode. So let's go to this PC, spend a thousand domino, which is ridiculous, to enter the age of code. So, in it's 807. A lot of people actually get this card just because it is really powerful and it is really good. Earlier in the game, like, it's probably the only card I'm actually going to get, is that right? Wait, uh, 0878 yeah. And this is the Hourglass of Life. It is a light monster, it's got 700 attack points and 600 attack points, but uh, it can compare up monsters on the field for a thousand life points, which is pretty good, you know, uh, if you really need to like power up monsters, you can just quickly do it. So let's actually go and buy this, because it doesn't actually add it, to, add it to your deck, it gets added to the shop, which is annoying, now we need to find this card. Uh, there it is, it is 800 domino, we're going to buy it. It's, it's a high level monster, you know, um, and the special effect is pretty good, like, normally cards in Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't actually have like effects like that which is which is mental but it is part of the game so uh, we need to take a card out of our deck and put that in which should get rid of Wii Monster uh, I'm pretty sure we've got like a more crap monster than that like we've got like a some really weak monsters which I'm not happy with uh, but we've got some pretty good ones as well so I'm gonna keep lightning uh, I'll get rid of that first monster um, which we can sell but I'd rather just not sell it if we don't have to you know what I mean let's add to trunk and now let's go to find the Hourglass of Light, because I don't know what number it is. <laughs> Probably going to take me a while to find it. But then we're going to actually fight uh, Yugi, Joey, and all the other guys. Because it, it's, it's a bit weird. Like, also, Yugi has got a really good card. There, there it is. He's got a really good card that we want to actually get. So, like I said, I'm actually going to be saving states before we actually fight Yugi and all that, just so we don't lose his anti-card. It's kind of a bit cheaty, but I don't really care, because it's, it's, it's a hard game. So, And by the power of editing, it's time to fight Yugi. Sure, let's check out what our decks are. So Yugi's got one really high level monster, it's Exodia, the forbidden one, um, and we need to make sure, it, oh that's, that's a bad monster to start on as well, um, so Mushroom Man and Exodia is his two powerful monsters, and Exodia the forbidden one, the head pretty much, uh, and Exodia's got a thousand attack, uh, attack points which is really good early on in the game, and that's what I really want to get, and there's a chance that if you put the anti-card down you will get Exodia, so um, that's pretty good, you know, Cyber Commando will put that in there, uh, which is really good, like, honestly, like, I love Exodia's card for that reason, because it is literally so good earlier in the game, you know, and it's one of those, it's one of those things, you, you might as well get it whilst you can, because it is so useful, um, Exodia is good, it's good, so what I'm going to do here is actually tribute one of my monsters to actually summon, um, Doma the Angel, just because, like, I need to get some higher attack on, like, if he summons Exodia, I'm screwed. Uh, but if you're wondering why we're going for Exodia, like I said, the high attack points, high defense, we need it earlier in the game to actually stand a chance. Like I said, there is a lot of other opponents we can fight. Like, uh, there's some optional fights which, which we can do now, but I'm not going to do because, just because of the fact that, like, oh, Cyber Commander is fine. If I have a Cyber Commander go, then uh, any of my other monsters, to be honest. Um, like, we, we can fight Rebecca Hawking from the anime and stuff, and she is tough. I'm not going to lie, we will not stand a chance. Her highest level monster without a sacrifice is 1400. Our highest monster is six, 800, I think, 800, yeah. So as you can imagine, we won't stand a ghost of a chance, like, and it's not worth the risk. You know what I mean? I'd rather not risk it. Uh, you, can, you can add more and more codes. There's quite a few codes for this game, and if you're doing what works that mom right now, I'm on game FAQs, uh, just because it is so easy just to get the codes and stuff. A lot of people do hack in their domino and stuff, like I said in the last episode, which I'm not really a fan of doing. Uh, we're going to use Doma here because I don't want to risk taking damage if I don't have to. Uh, but a lot of people do hack like certain um, codes in and stuff to get like, I don't know, Dino, uh, Mean Dino and stuff early on in the game. And monsters with like 1500 to 2000 attack points and have no deck capacity, which is kind of ruining the game, you know? And that's why I'm playing it like legit. I know the game is hard and a bit bull sometimes, you know, with the whole... Um, can we kill this guy? Yeah, we can. Uh, either way, we've killed Yugi, and hopefully we get Exodia. Hopefully we get Exodia. Do we get Exodia? Your deck capacity increased by one, nine hundred, and we've got the left left leg. Uh, it's it's okay, it's okay. You know, it's it's, it's better than nothing. But uh, Yugi's also got a spellbinding circle which we want to get. So I think I'm actually going to farm Yugi up right now. It looks like you're you're doing things right. I know. Uh, if, you, if you notice, he only gave us one deck capacity, and we should keep fighting Yugi by the way until we do beat him. Uh, and actually get all the cards we want to get, like Exodia and Spellbinding Circle. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I did activate the uh, Hourglass of Light, and for a thousand life points, all my monsters gained 500 attack points, and that is a pretty overpowered card, but we did win 
against uh, the rival Yugi and uh, my dick pass increased by one, we've got 96 Domino and we've got the right arm. Yep, time to fight him again. And so guys, we've just lost our first duel against Yugi. Um, it's one of those things, it is kind of luck based, the whole Yu-Gi-Oh thing, and that means our death is at 1. Ugh, let's go and try to fight him again. Dual victory, your deck pass is increased by 1, 71 domino has increased, and we've got the right arm again of Exodia. Ah, your opponent is our life points, dual victory, your deck in increased by 1, you're at 990 dominoes, and we've got a bloody right, right arm. <laughs> and with that, we lost another duel. Oh my god, these guys, are, uh, they don't play easy, Jesus Christ. So I've done some research in between uh, the battles, and it turns out you do lose your anti-cards if you do lose. So, that's kind of annoying, um, and it turns out if you do use save states before you fight the battle, it is pre-allocated fights, so no matter what you choose, you are going to lose. We're going to sell all the Exodia card, by the way, because we don't really need them. I'm not going to use something with that little attack points, to be honest. So, so we do need to buy back cards we did sell, unless we have to go without some more anti-cards, which we might have, I don't really know. Um, I did, some, I did some experimenting, and it turns out you can't really do that. But also, if you if you use a monster with like less attack points, as you can see, it's a low level anti, so that means you get crappy cards. So that's what you need to do at higher than 500 attack points. But uh, I don't think we've got any attack points, which is over 500 now. Balls, 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 balls. By the power of editing, we've actually got our anti card back. Um, yeah, I just loaded up an old save state. But let's try this out again and see if we can actually get this Exodia head because I really want to get it so much. You have no idea. We've already got two deaths. Come on. Dual victory, your deck pass is increased by one, you got 100 domino, and we've got Exodia the Forbidden One! Yes, that's what I wanted. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to put it straight in our deck, because Exodia the Forbidden One is probably one of the more powerful cards in this game. Like, seriously, this early on to get Exodia, it is fantastic. So let's actually get rid of Mystic Lamp, I'm going to put Exodia in my deck. Um, what? What? Your deck with level, oh yes, so let's get into to duelist level. Um, so you need to be a certain duelist level to use certain cards. For example, um, we can't use Exodia because we're not at a high uh, level 137, which is a bit crap to be honest. Like we are currently what level are we? We are currently at 84. So uh, we've got to wait for we can use Exodia. Sucks. But we're gonna go and take on Joey now. We've got the card I wanted to get. We might fight fight. Um, more of Yugi at the end of the episode, but uh, let's go and fight Joey. So I have just saved up, let's fight Joey and actually use our anti card. If you're wondering why I am keep saving up like this, it's just because I don't want to lose my anti cards because it is kind of like so valuable trying to get him back. If you I'm going to start off with this in defense because he has got Baby Dragon, which is a high level monster, you know. And if he does summon it right away, which he hasn't, um, we, we will be screwed. But uh, Joey is another like massive like hindrance, I guess. He is really powerful, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm, I'm trying to defend as much as I can. I'm hoping he doesn't summon a high level monster here. Uh, oh, come on, please don't be Baby Dragon, please don't be Baby Dragon. It's fine, it's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to tribute this guy now. I'm only going to show off um, Joey once, but he has got Baby Dragon, which is a pretty powerful monster. Like, You don't really realise how powerful Baby Dragon is until you actually do fight Joey, because he has got some really high level monsters. Like, It's not like really small level monsters, though. it's like Baby Dragon, high level. So, uh, he's, he's, he's a lot more powerful than, than bloody Yugi, uh, no doubt about it like there. Uh, but like, like I always say, um, always attack with your first monster you're already in, because obviously you're going to have a time advantage and then you go for a normal attack. I can see a lot of his monsters have got like a thousand defense or a thousand attack points, which makes this game really, really difficult. Um, I'm finally using Queen's double or whatever. You, it's not going to do too much damage to me to be honest. but. Uh, we, we, we're just gonna keep doing this, you know. Uh, we're gonna own him. We're gonna own him. I'm sure that's how well this battle's going. Um, he's not the hardest opponent we will face, by the way, uh, in this game. Like, Yugi and Joey are pretty much the basic level people. So, as you can imagine, we're struggling to beat these guys and we've just started the game. So, uh, as you can imagine, as the game goes on, we will be struggling a lot more. <laughs> and uh, the game will get more and more difficult, which I'm really not looking forward to. But I kind of at the same time because it is a good challenge. Like in this game, I probably will be dying quite a bit. I've only died twice right now, but uh, Salamandra. Ooh. Oh my god. The, ooh. Fire. So we need a water based monster. We need water. We need water. We need water. Uh, put this guy out. I'm pretty sure that's right, right in it. Water is fire. So we're, so we're just going to stall until we get a water monster. Please give me a water monster, please. Or a monster at least, which I have to sacrifice for. Come on. Yeah, because like, that guy is too powerful, he's too powerful. That's fine, I'm happy with that, I'm happy. 
So it looks like we can survive another turn. Come on, give me something good. Is that what we... See, that won't level up my monsters high enough. Like... Like, we would... Oh, um, so a thousand life points, that'll, that'll put us to 1200. How many, how many life points does Joey have? Let's have a quick look. Um, he has 1700. I think it's worth it. J just just to get his HP down a bit more. Is that, that's actually our effect. So I'm going to put it in defense. It's not going to let us attack, is it? Balls. Oh, it's my own fault, really. Oh, I tributed as well. Thousand dragon. Oh, and that is a fire type monster. So, so, so we still not looking for that war card, which we did get. Yes, that is so lucky. Like, no, 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 it's not attack. It's uh, attack that. Yes, that's what we really want to do. And now, Joey, you're going down, bro. You're going down. By the way, that's the power of the um, hourglass at his work. Like, seriously, like we would probably have lost if we didn't have the hourglass there. So, so uh, it was a really good play, and this is where we win. So. Uh, Let's summon any monster really, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to win either way. Jinzo 7, pretty weak. Hopefully we get Baby Dragon or something, because that would be a really good card to get as an anti, but we won Dual Victory, your deck pass increased by 1, we got 91 Domino, and we got 1000 Dragon. Pretty good card. S uh, 7 stars, and it's pretty good, it's, it's a pretty good card. Yeah, you're doing okay, I think. Can we fight Taylor? I don't think we can, can we? Duel against me? If you have that kind of time, I'd go, go and help a Shizu. <laughs> okay, and let's go and fight Tristan now. So yeah, it's time to fight Tristan. You want to do me? Sure thing. Let's do it. So, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I am enjoying this game quite a bit. Like, I know it's gonna get really frustrating later on, but Tristan's pretty easy. Duke Devlin, not so easy. He yeah, he actually has got the hourglass, so he he can't use the same ability as us. Like, kind of stalling for that. Uh, we have got Final Destiny as well. If we really have to use it, but this guy isn't too bad. Tristan, as you can imagine, like if you see him in the anime, he is a pretty crap duelist. Um, I kind of wish, like, I know in the later Yu-Gi-Oh games, like uh, the one which just came out last year. You can actually like have a custom deck and stuff, and I, I kind of like that. I kind of like playing through like Yu-Gi-Oh with a custom deck. Like I know this is kind of like a custom deck as well, but you can't just put any, you can't just put any card in your deck. You have to like actually grind it out, and that's what makes this game really difficult. Uh, if you wonder, this is one of the only three Yu-Gi-Oh games I've ever played. I played Tag Force One, I played this, and I played the new Yu-Gi-Oh game on the Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, and it's one of those things, like, I do like the newer, like, Yu-Gi-Oh's, like, don't, don't get me wrong, I do love Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh -Oh is like my childhood, like, honestly, I was so addicted, I spent so much money on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I must have spent so much, I still do to, to, to this day, to be honest, like, I'm really getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's what I really want to do, is, like, playing stuff, and, uh, is he, are you gonna attack me? Nope, of course, you got a weaker monster, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's getting Bumblebee, man, or whatever, and that's why I really want to play this game, because, like, I love Yu-Gi-Oh, I've always wanted to do Yu-Gi-Oh Let's Play and stuff, I want to do, like, um, the new Yu-Gi-Oh game, you know, or I've, actually I've, played, I've also played Duos of the Roses as well, that's another Yu-Gi-Oh game, but it's not really a Yu-Gi-Oh game, it's more of a, um, a Dungeon Dice Monsters based game if you've played, if you've played the anime, or uh, watched the anime or played the actual board game, because it's a board game of Dungeon Dice Monsters, uh, but I am actually enjoying this game, because it is, it is kind of like my childhood, and when you play a game what means so much to you like this, it's really, really nice, you know, and puts a smile on my face, a big disgrace. There we go, dual victory, your deck capacity increased by one, we got five domino, and we unlocked Hain Hain. That wasn't even worth my time. If you're ever in the mood to the competition, you know where to find me. So it's time to fight Duke Devlin. Yeah, I love Duke Devlin, he's probably my favorite character in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but like I said, like a lot of the people in this game are difficult to, to fight and stuff. Uh, like, I'm not gonna lie, this guy, is, he's not easy, he's, he he's, he's, he's doesn't take it easy, he is... He is powerful, like, don't get me wrong, uh, Duke Devlin, powerful, like, as you can see, he had a 700 attack point monster there, and we took a thousand damage to start the turn off, that is crazy, heavy storm, heavy monster, on, on the field is destroyed, ah, uh, he, he is a powerful guy, like, um, don't, don't get me wrong, he, he, he is a good duelist, so, I'm just gonna set off with a lightning conjure, whatever his name is, you know, I kinda love how the, the, the Game Boy screen is too small to actually fit everything on, it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, but if you're doing what I'm trying to set up here, I'm trying to like make it so it's like I can sacrifice, which I can now. Boom. Tribute you, boy. Yeah. And let's attack this guy and get rid of his most powerful monster right now. Yeah. I I'm pretty sure Duke Devlin can give you the hourglass like um, card, but it's really rare. And another thing with... Oh, balls. Uh, another thing with Duke Devlin is the, the more you fight him... Oh, we should have healed before this fight. God damn it. Um, I feel like we are going to lose this fight, to be honest. Uh... Uh, Duke, Duke Devlin's deck actually increases as the game goes on, so he, he, like, this is our first duels with him, 
and it's pretty easy. But as the game goes on, it'll get more and more difficult. And that's something I really love about Duke Devlin. He's not just like a quick, easy fight, you know. He, he does get harder and harder as the game goes on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if I'm just going to set up like some defense, because he's going to attack me either way. So I'm hoping he doesn't sacrifice. I don't know if he's got any sacrifice based monster. Oh, balls. That is not good. That is not good. That is not good. Since we might have to lose this now. Balls. We're going to lose that one here. God damn it. Oh, well, that's uh, another loss for us. We lost a duel. God damn it. So it's time to fight Duke Devlin again. Oh, my God. I can't believe we lost against him. He is a hard, hard duelist, isn't he? Like... I'm going to cut back to you when we, uh, when we get into the later ends of the... So guys, I think we've lost again to Duke Devlin. Oh my god, we keep losing. That was our life points, we lost the duel. God damn it, again. A few moments later. I honestly don't think we can beat this guy. Like, it's too difficult. He's got too many high-level monsters. Oh, we tried. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to end it off by... Um, I think we're going to grind a few more cards with Yugi. Uh, if we do lose, then uh, I'll see you guys afterwards, but... I can't believe how powerful Duke is. Like, seriously, he's so powerful. It's ridiculous. Anyways, let's fight Yugi a few times and try to get some more cards. God damn it. That goes our life points. We lost the duel. Uh, we did get quite a few cards, so I'm happy with that so far. Another win to Yugi. Oh, my God. My God. So I think we've had enough of this Yu-Gi-Oh thing for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. I'll really appreciate it. We've got a lot of new cards. I'm actually going to go and sell them up really quickly before we actually continue on. Because uh, we did get a lot of really valuable, like, Exodia Pass. It turns out you can use Exodia Pass as an Ante. Ante? An Ante? Uh, and a good thing to do is actually just have, like, more pull Ante cards and uh, Ante cards in case you do lose one. So, for example, I've got quite a few um, the right arm here. I'm only going to sell, like, a, like three of them. I'm going to keep one. Uh, same with that one. I'm going to keep that. Uh, we're going to keep two of the heads, obviously, because we're going to be using those in my trunk. When, when I get to, to that point, we're going to keep those. But we did get quite a few valuable cards. I want to sell all the fake traps. I don't know if we sell them or not. We'll get, get, get some hand hands. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are getting back up there. I really want to afford another... Um, how much is the Exodia head worth, by the way? Let's have a quick look here. Sell. Exodia head. That is worth... See, that's worth only 200 to sell. That's really not worth it, but it's, it's probably like a tenth of what you have to buy it at. Uh, but yeah, I do like the whole um, hourglass. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode up here. If you enjoyed this episode, please give a like, I really appreciate it. Next time we're just going to continue on with the plot. We might do a bit of grinding again, but I shall see you guys next time for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Refresh of Destruction. I'll see you guys then. Peace.